Welcome, diecast collectors and heavy equipment enthusiasts. Thank you for joining me for another edition of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing the classic construction models, CCM, Caterpillar 308E2 CRSB Mini Hydraulic Excavator. This is the fourth entry in CCM's Contractors Collection. Some information about the real machine. The 308E2 set the standard for compact tail swing excavators in the 8-ton size class because it combined superior performance with comfort while reducing operator costs. It featured smooth, responsive load-sensing hydraulics, which provided the level of comfort demanding in fine grading, dozing, or backfilling applications. It came equipped with an efficient C3.3B engine, which produced 65 horsepower at the flywheel, and it was capable of top forward speeds of 1.74 miles per hour in low gear and just under 3.2 miles per hour in high gear. The compact radius tail swing design incorporated a counterweight that extended further back on the machine, creating a more stable working platform during lifting and digging. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, this is a really long title for an excavator with the 308E2 CRSB. Well, because the CR and SB actually stand for some things, the CR stands for compact radius, while the SB stands for swing boom. Turning our attention now to the model. Now, this machine, as I said before, was part of CCM's contractor collection. Now, the idea behind the contractor collection, for those of you that may not be familiar, is CCM and Caterpillar wanted to take some of the entry level or the smaller machines that contractors may buy for their smaller businesses, whether it be landscaping or uh, small contracting jobs such as earthworks and make them in a larger scale. So all of the contractor series models are in 124 scale and they're produced predominantly of die cast model metal. This machine was released in 2019 and 500 of them were made. The MSRP price was $359.95 and I have some good news for you all that are watching. Unlike most classic construction models that normally become closed Editions before they even hit the CCM warehouse to begin uh, shipping out to their customers. This one is still available from CCM as of the time that I am filming this review in early 2022. So if you are interested in purchasing this model, check out the link in this video's description right down here. And all you have to do is click on that URL link. It'll take you to CCM where you can add this to your cart and buy it if you are interested. All right, let's begin the model review in earnest by taking a look at the decals and details of which there are plenty on this model. So more than likely for the first three minutes of this video, you guys have already been looking over this model. You can see that there are quite a number of hydraulic line details, including auxiliary lines, because this machine comes outfitted with a thumb. You have CAT 308E2 CR right here, the CAT power stripe, more tie-down points on the track frames. The tracks themselves are linked and they are metal. And there is another warning label here, along with a warning label on the side of the cab. We turn it to one side. We can see that the mirror has a silver reflective sticker. A warning label on top of the back portion of the cab. A single exhaust. More warning labels on the counterweight, along with a video camera. And the cat logo on the center of the counterweight. On this side of the machine, you can see some more fine decaling work with CAT 308E2CR. There's a filler cap lid on top, a small hand and grab rail, more details on the tracks and track frame. But really, arguably, the most impressive part of this model is the piping of the hydraulic lines and the detail. You can see the attachments, whether they be red, silver, black, and the way that they attach and go all throughout the machine. Again, extremely impressive. Looking at the front of the machine, you can see perfectly legible, hopefully this will come through on camera, that there's actually a picture of two excavators right here that are depicting the proper maintenance points, access points, all of the information you would need to take care and service your machine in the real world, as well as more decaling on the inside of the cab for the operator's information uh, for him, all the stuff that he needs to know. Additionally, if we look inside the cab, there is information on the heads-up display panel, the HUD. All your information there is actually on uh, your 
LCD screen, which again, extremely impressive. And on the back of the seat, it does have the cat logo, which you can clearly see right there. Taking a look underneath the excavator. This shows you that this is number 480, uh, 500 in the production run. So mine is relatively late in the uh, sequence of things, the numeral sequence of things for those that like numerology. Uh, bolt detailing on the tracks, you can see the dozer blade, which the dozer blade itself does have some wear plating on the blade. But again, because a lot of these blades are black, it's kind of hard to pick up on camera, but you can see it. And that ends the decal and detail chapter of this video. Let's turn our attention now to functionality. This excavator being in 124 scale does have a lot of extra working features that you may not see uh, many excavators have in, let's say, 150th scale because they're just too small to implement them in a smaller scale. So let's start off with the givens. Obviously, I mentioned before, this is a tracked machine. This machine has metal tracks, and if you push start down hard on them enough, you can see that the tracks will roll in either direction, helped along by working rollers and the sprocket. Also, you can raise or lower your dozing blade. Now, honestly, I haven't seen many excavators effectively use a dozer blade for dozing in the real world. Really, the only time I've ever seen them, the ones that actually have them on them just use them as added stability when the actual excavator portion is working. But it's nice to see that it was on the model nonetheless. So, we're on the job site now. Let's stabilize our machine, put our dozer blade flush with the ground. Let's check out the functionality of the actual excavator, shall we? Well, it will go up to here, and because this is a compact radius and a swing boom, we can swing the boom without swinging the entire machine. You can swing it to here, or swing it to here, and that mechanism performs flawlessly. If you want to take a look at it from the front-facing view, so you can just see how that looks, I will demonstrate that again. So here it is angled towards the right. And now we will swing the boom towards the left. Returning now to the standard machine functionality for the boom and stick and bucket. Let's move our machine out. So it will definitely reach out and grab something. No question about it. How about digging depth? Well, on mine, without forcing anything, the digging depth is reasonable. In fact, it's almost out of screen. So again, high marks there, nothing to complain about. Let's come back on the opposite end of things. Curl in our bucket, which you can see now our bucket is fully retract and curled in, and you can see that the thumb is now closed. Our bucket will swing out to here. More than enough to empty out into a truck, for example. There you go. So the thumb will also close in which you've also already seen that. So let's demonstrate the thumb functionality, which we can close that up completely or retract it. And it will hold any position that you want with the cylinder being strong enough. Okay, let's close our machine up for a tight transport configuration or a parked position at the end of the shift. And without an issue, your excavator can achieve that position as well. The only thing I didn't really show you in terms of the main excavator functionality because we had the swing boom is the fact that if you wanted to move the machine 360 degrees, you could do that effortlessly as well. We are not done with functionality just yet. We have a few more things to show you. So let's put our boom, our bucket, and our stick at rest. We need to do some maintenance on this machine. So. Let's see, say we need to do some maintenance on the electronics inside the cab. The cab door does open, as I showed you earlier, to show you the decals inside. So you can get the cab door to open to a very reasonable angle. Close that back up. There are three additional panels that open on the 308. So we'll start with this one. This one swings out. And it's worthwhile to see the other components that are inside. We have this one on the right-hand side of the machine. This is probably the one that's the most impressive. You have your radiator, 
your filters, all kinds of mechanical elements inside. Again, all intricately decaled and detailed. But we have one more, and it's kind of a hidden feature. I didn't notice it at first, and that is that underneath the cat logo in the center of the counterweight, you can open this one up as well to show the details underneath. Finally, we have to show off the serial numbered spec brochure. Again, mine is number 480 out of 500 in the production run. You can see a picture of the real machine at work. There's Gary Peterson's signature. Always, always, always crucial. Again, this is just a recap for most of you, but for the new ones that may be watching, hold on to any documentation that comes with any of your models. Do not throw these away. And inside the brochure, you can see all different information about the real machine some high quality photos, some different attachment and track undercarriage options, engines and serviceability. There you go. In conclusion, the CCM Caterpillar 308 E2 CR SB mini hydraulic excavator in 124 scale is an outstanding model any way you cut it. If you are a fan of larger scale construction equipment, as in 116, 124, 125th, 132 scale models, this is a no-brainer. If you are a fan of compact equipment, as in mini hydraulic excavators or skid steel loaders, this is a no-brainer. If you are a fan of classic construction models, this is a no-brainer. The functionality, the detail, everything is top right on this model, and at least on mine, everything functions as well as it should perfectly, no complaints. As always, I am Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends. Until next time, take care, be safe. I'll see you in the next review.